Vishal, thank you so much for taking time to Absolutely. come speak with us today. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you got involved with big data? Well, I uh, was until recently the head of uh, all products at SAP and uh, uh, of course, the, um, big data then is a very fundamental part of uh, enterprise software. And um, my team built uh, all the SAP big data products, uh, including HANA, the data in memory database, and analytical products, and so forth. And one of the things that, uh, that we started there was to work with Carlos, uh, Professor Carlos Bustamante, here at Stanford, and the work on biomedicine, bioinformatics, and the role of big data and analytics and complex data sciences in medicine. And this is something that was very exciting. So, um, so I've been very excited about this area. Right. And what sort of projects did you work on with the bioinformatics? Um, we worked on various, uh, looking into various diseases. So, so genomic processing, also proteomic processing, um, for genome processing for cancer, for instance, or, or breast cancer, um, in various diseases like type two diabetes. Um, all uh, the entire pipeline of that genome processing from sequencing, alignment, variant processing, and so forth. Um, with in-memory technology like HANA, there is a tremendous opportunity to dramatically accelerate the, that pipeline and shrink that. So that was something that we were doing. Carlos has a thousand genome project. So we, we were working on that, on dramatically shrinking the amount of time necessary to do analyses for various things like uh, one of the studies that, uh, that uh, the SAP team and Carlos' team worked on was in this thousand genome project to analyze type two diabetes. So one thing we found, for instance, was that the uh, uh, type two diabetes genome is actually uh, the risk of the disease is dependent on where people come from, not so much on diet and lifestyle and, and so forth, which which was very surprising. But you find that because you can dramatically expand the size of the study, which can which is possible with modern techniques uh, that can analyze large amounts of data very quickly. Right. And what do you see as the practical applications of these experiments? I think that uh, in the end, when you look at the overall um, practice of medicine, there is a, a huge opportunity. There is the, uh, of course, there is the reactive part of medicine, which is going to hospitals and, and so forth. And there are tremendous opportunities to improve patients' experience in hospitals. Uh, I think when you look at the experience um, of going to a hospital and getting care today, it is kind of ghastly. It is, uh, it is horrible. It is, uh, it, it is. It actually, it seems. I always felt that the entire experience of being a patient is almost as if it is designed to make you feel worse. Uh, um, so there is a lot of improvement that information technology can bring to the reactive part of medicine. But then there is the, there is the preventive medicine, which is you know everybody wears these bands these days, and more and more of the sensors coming into our bodies. Uh, becoming integrated with our bodies and helping us better uh, prevent um, disease and becoming better at thriving and, and things like that. And I think that there is a tremendous opportunity there to bring analytics, personal analytics and correlative analytics into helping us become better at managing our own health. But the most exciting is the preventive, the third dimension. So there's reactive, uh, preventive and predictive. And that predictive medicine, to me, is the most exciting one, where we can look at the uh, deep inside the constituents of life itself into genomes and proteomes and uh, correlate all of that. I think bringing big data, data science, to areas like that is something that is super exciting. And I'm, I'm really, now that I'm out of SAP, I'm really excited about looking into things like this. Perfect uh, switching gears into what is your new role at Stanford? Uh, well, I am... Um, thinking about what to do next, but in the meantime, Stanford, you know, it's my alma mater and um, almost everyone I know is here, so Stanford has asked me to um, become a consulting professor of computer science, so I am uh, going through that process and uh, I'm super excited about that. Well, no matter what you decide to do, I'm sure it will be something amazing. So Great. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank really you, appreciate Josh. it. Absolutely.